السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إلها واحدا أحدا فردا صمدا قيوما ونشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين وأصحابه الغر الميامين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى في سورة البقرة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا لقوا الذين آمنوا قالوا آمنا وإذا خلوا إلى شياطينهم قالوا إنا معكم إنما نحن مستهزئون الله يستهزئ بهم ويمدهم في طغيانهم يعمهون صدق الله العلي العظيم For so many decades Israel has been wearing the peace mask pretending to be the peace doll lecturing the Arab nations and Arab countries on love, coexistence, peace, harmony, togetherness. We are one mankind. We are one people. There is no difference between us. At the same time, Israel was expanding, expanding its establishment for the illegal settlements in Palestine and the West Bank. At the same time, Israel was usurping the land of the Palestinians, expelling them from their homes, native people who have been in that land, on that land for thousands of years, people who inherited these lands and ranches and homes from their ancestors. For hundreds, for thousands of years, they've been expelled from the land. They have been expelled from their lands, from their territories with no rights. At the same time when Israel was lecturing the Arab nations about peace, reaching out to them, intimidating some of those small nations. At the same time, Israel was bombing Lebanon. They were bombing Syria on a daily basis. There are Israeli raids on Syria on a daily basis. Attacking Iraq, raiding Iraq, even Iraq. Attacking Iran, murdering, assassinating Iranian scientists beside torturing and persecuting the Palestinians. This is the Israeli peace. This is the Israeli peace. Some nations, naive nations, backward nations, Bedouin nations, like the Emirates, the Bahrain, they rushed to sign the peace treaty, thinking that they're going to be immune, they're going to be safe. Not only the governments, not only the governments who remind me of Surah Al-Ahzab. Ahzab was the alliance of the Arab Bedouins, the polytheists in Arabia, with the people of Book. Same alliance is taking place today, after 1400 years, between some of those Bedouins, illiterate Bedouins, in the region, in the Gulf and Arabia, and the Israelis. Not only the governments and the regimes, 
were collaborating and signing peace treaty. If you read some of the Khaliji and Saudi media, you find some activists, some journalists, some columnists who say that Israel is closer to us than the force, than the Iranians, than the Turks. Those are our real friends. The Jews, the Israelis are our real friends. They are our real allies. Yes, I believe them. I believe them. Israel is the ally of the Saudi regime, no doubt about that. And the Emirati regime and the Bahraini regime. Israel is doing what Bahrain is doing to its citizens. Bahrain is demolishing the Shia mosques, the mosques, masajid in Bahrain. Israel is doing the same in Palestine. So they share the same, they have common denominator between them. The hate for its own people, for human rights, violations of human rights. But my friends, those people who stood with Israel and signed the peace treaty, and they disgraced themselves and their nations, they were the one who gave the excuse, the pretext, the reason for Israel to launch its aggression against the Palestinians, against Jerusalem, against Gaza, against other Palestinians. Israel declared that after this war, no more muqawama, no more resistance, no more Palestinian who refuses Israel, no more Palestinian who refuses the occupation, illegal occupation. They're going to exterminate them. This is what they declared, because they got the green light from those sheikhdoms, from those Arab regimes, who are supporting and helping and endorsing, endorsing Israel. The war would never end between, between, because between haqq and batil, the war is continuing. The war is going to continue till the day of judgment started from the first day, and it would not end until the last day. But in this round of battle between, between Israel on the one side and the entire free world on the other side, Israel was the loser. Israel was defeated. And I give condolences not only to Israel, to the United Arab Emirates, to the Kingdom of Bahrain, to the Egyptian regime, to the Saudi regime, to those who supported Israel and stood with falsehood. We have to give them condolences. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wal-Asr inna al-Insana lafi khusrin illa al-Ladina amanu wa amilu al-Salihat wa tawasaw bil-Haqqi wa tawasaw bil-Sabr wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ahli baytahi al-Tayyibin al-Tahirin. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهما السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الإمام الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه وجعلنا من أنصاره وخدامه وأعوانه آمين رب العالمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله ولولا دفع الله ولولا دفع الله الناس بعضهم ببعض لهدمت صوامع وبيع وصلوات ومساجد يذكر فيها اسم الله كثيرا ولا ينصرن الله من ينصره إن الله لقوي عزيز God will surely help and give victory to those who help God and give victory to God. After the war, when the war dust settles, people start counting the casualties. People start asking who won the war. In terms of material loss, Israel is the winner, no doubt about that. Because until last night, Israel murdered 250 civilians. Most of them are children and women, most of them. Israel, Israel destroyed hundreds of buildings, homes, apartments, all civilians. Israel destroyed the electrical grid, the fresh water system in Gaza. Israel destroyed many schools, many hospitals, many roads. Israel destroyed the already weak infrastructure of Gaza. They did that. But remember, Israel was saying that after this war, there is no resistance. We're going to uproot the Muqawma. According to them, Hamas. We're going to uproot Hamas and Jihad. But look what happened. In terms of material loss, Israel is the winner. But in terms of the moral victory, the Palestinians are victorious. The vic Palestinians and those people who stood with them, people of the free world, people who have live conscience, people who believe in justice and the truth, who stood with them. Some of them are Muslims, some of them are Christians, some of those people are Jews, Jews who stood with the Palestinians, inside Israel and outside Israel. Those people won the moral winning, the spiritual winning, because remember, Israel 50 years ago was able to defeat Arab nations, Arab armies in the war of 1973, the war of 1967 and other wars. They were able to destroy the Egyptian army, the Syrian army, the Jordanian army, part of the Iraqi army were destroyed. Israel declared themselves to be the fourth most powerful military might in the world. The fourth. Israel, they bragged about the iron, iron dome. Look what happened. For 11 days, only 11 days, Israelis could not sleep the night. They had a sleepless nights, beginning from the president, the prime minister, to the youngest people in Israel. By a group of people who are called terrorists, the White House declared them to be terrorist organization. European Union calls them terrorist organization. But they are not terrorists. A person who defends his land, his integrity, is a freedom fighter, is not terrorist. Is not terrorist. This is not terrorism. When you defend your home, your land, your neighborhood, your country, your dignity, your children, your family, you are not a terrorist. I don't care about what America calls them. They are not terrorists. They are freedom fighters, and they are right. And if Hamas in the past, they were a few hundreds, now they are millions in their numbers. Many people are standing with them. With them. Many people are praying for their victory. So the moral victory is the victory of the believers, of the mu'mineen. God promised us in the Quran, وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهِ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ If you support God, God is going to be on your side. 
God is going to be on your side. <coughs> this is a defeat. This war of 11 days is a defeat for the Israelis. They always claimed that we are the superpower in the region. It's a myth. There is no such thing called superpower. A superpower is not based on aggression. It's not based on occupation. It's not based on falsehood. The superpower should be based on justice and the truth. Israel is not a superpower. It's a myth. It's a myth. No matter how many countries are going to stand with them and send them weapon, they are not going to survive. Falsehood would not survive. God promises in the Holy Quran, in chapter 17, which is called the children of Israel, Bani Israel. Ch uh, chapter 17, Al Isra, the children of Israel, chapter God says in that chapter, Waqul Ja al Haqu. Truth has arrived. Falsehood is perishing, for falsehood is bound to perish, my friends. Falsehood, definitely, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. This is how God created this universe. God says the last round is for the people of the truth, the last round. Maybe there are other rounds for them, the people of falsehood, but the last one, the decisive one, the final one, is for the people of the truth. <inaudible> we pray for those who lost their lives, over 250 civilians. Most of them, 90% of them are civilians, who lost their lives, who lost their homes. But they did not lose their dignity, their izzah. They did not lose their izzah. They stood their ground, and they are victorious one. And they proved to the whole world that if you have iman and faith and you are really connected to God, then you're going to be victorious. We pray for them. We pray for Gaza, for Palestine, for Jerusalem. And we thank all those people in hundreds of capitals in throughout America, this nation, many of our youngsters, they left school because they had something, they said, more important than education today. We have to raise our voice against aggression, against occupation, against injustice, against oppression. And they demonstrated bravely in the streets of Los Angeles, Orange County, other cities throughout this nation, other European nations, and the whole world was standing against the Israeli aggression. We pray for all of them. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring down his nasr, his victory upon the oppressed and upon the people of the truth and people of faith, inshallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsani wa itai dil qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkari wal baghi ya'idukum la'allakum tadakkaroon. Allahumma akhfir al mu'minina wal mu'minat. والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك قاضي الحاجات إنك ماح السيئات إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم عجل في فرج إمامنا وقائدنا وسيدنا وحبيبنا صاحب العصر والزمان من على جرحانا ومرضانا بالشفاء والعافية انصر الإسلام والمسلمين ومن نصر الدين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والشهداء ثوابا